morning. Good afternoon, y'all. Good evening. Welcome. After dark, early morning, talk with you, family. Um, you know, I, sometimes the older you get, you know, and when you really realize that there's more time behind you than in front of you, you know, you spend a lot of time, you know, reflecting. And, um, that's a good thing. That's what you want. You want that. You want to reflect. The only thing I would say is that you would hope that people start reflecting when they have the opportunity when they're a little younger. There's a scripture that says, remember the creator in the days of thy youth. Meaning, um, how did Know God and spiritual principles when you're young. I ain't talking about religion, y'all. I'm just trying, I'm talking about a relationship with yourself that reflects the creator of all living things. Okay? And so, then the focus is connected on that and your spirituality, then you'll realize that. A lot of times, that's why we feel stuck in our lives, because there's such a dimming down of our pineal gland that the things that used to come naturally, spiritually to us, is very difficult. Um, we've lost our way, is what I'm trying to say. And I think the callous to this conversation is I saw some people who named their child Lucifer. Lucifer. Now just think about that for a minute. A person named their dog Lucifer. I mean their um child Lucifer. I still talk about my brother. Um, God bless the dead. Rest in peace. Because he had a German Shepherd that looked just like me and Tan Tan, and we were all pissed off that he named the dog Satan. Satan is what he named the dog. And because um, that wasn't the energy that my family was comfortable with, because he was a, 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 my foster sister's brother. So my mother got both of them out of the same family. So they were sister and brother, but they weren't a part of my biological group. And so he, he named the dog Satan. And we were uncomfortable because you got to remember, you know, you know, it's amazing because, you know, we just as diverse as anybody else. We all come from different backgrounds. Some of us were brought up in the project. Some of us were brought up in single family homes. Some of us were brought up in two parent homes. Some of us were brought up with very strict parents. Some of us were uh, born in very religious families. So all these things um, create different dynamics. However, it used to be a time where you wouldn't hardly see black people naming their child after a demonic energy, um, Satan or Lucifer, because we believed, and just like the ancestors all, you know, before us, you know, my grandmama, my great aunts, all of them always thought that you draw to them, you draw to you, but you perpetuate. You know, when I think about Tupac, you know, and the, uh, or and Biggie. Y'all can go about what all the aesthetics and who did it, who, what, when, why. That's not where I'm going with this. Where I'm going with this is get rich or die trying or ready to die. Born to die, kill me now. <laughs> you know, if I die at night, all those kind of things bring forth a demonic energy. And if you're not aware of that, 
there are people out here who are demonic. They uh, uh, feed off that energy that you have um, so mistakenly taken as just, you know, nothing. Cool, party. But that's not who we really are. We are a divine people. We are spiritual people. And so when we get down to that type of level like that, we're going to be worse than any wild animal, any wild dog, in my opinion. This is all my opinion. Okay? So you name your son or your child Lucifer. And if you don't expect to have any kind of demonic energy to come behind that, I don't know what to tell you. There used to be a time where people, um, like, like I'm looking at, you know, Clifford Harris. I mean, he named one of his sons Messiah. So that is asking for the highest expectation and already speaking into that child's existence, a higher form of being already. He didn't walk him into Messiah. Okay, I, that doesn't mean Messiah is gonna be perfect. It don't mean Messiah's name. I mean, a name is gonna make him um better than anybody else. But what it does do is it put a covering around that young man, and it it it, it almost makes him want to go internally inside and find out who what what does Messiah mean, or if you've heard it before. That's a powerful name. And so people say, what's in the name? I have everything. Everything. I don't know what the son is doing now. I don't I can't say that I'm not trying to say he's out there walking on water. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not even trying to insinuate that. But what I am insinuating is, is if you name your child Lucifer, don't be surprised if you know, some real demonic shit begin to follow this baby throughout his life when he's get big enough to get out there and experience energies and shit. Because I don't know who in their right mind would do anything like that. The excuse we gave my um foster brother was when he was three years old, one of the reasons why they got taken out of their home was because a four-year-old was taking a three-year-old and a one-year-old across a big boulevard and the three-year-old got hit by a car and got his brain knocked out in the streets. He was in a coma for three months and he stayed in the hospital for six. They put his brain back in his head and put a steel plate in his brain to keep him, you know, brain from shifting, I guess. So he would have these episodes where he would black, you know, like stare or black out or just like being um, real nutty, you know, or being a trance. And they wouldn't last long, maybe three minutes. He'd have a spell. that we all attributed to that. And we would always say, well, you know, uh, that was mine ain't right. You know, we would we would always say that about him, you know. Um, but the the, and the the point I'm trying to make is that's what we said about him when he named that dog Satan. Nevertheless, Satan ended up with distemper, and it was the worst thing I've ever seen. To see a dog with distemper because I've never seen anything like that. The dog was bleeding out the rectum and just all kinds of stuff because he was taking the dog around everybody else's dog without having any shots, any vaccinations. Um, and the dog caught the stemper. You see what I mean? I mean, you may say, oh, come on. Just because he named him Satan, that doesn't mean that that man. Well, the next dog that that came into the house that my brother got, it was my young the brother that was under him. We named it Sheba. 
and Sheba stayed with us 18 years. Okay, his negative energy wasn't unleashed on that puppy. And so to some of y'all, that might not mean anything, but those of us who travel in and are aware that they're so is it above, so is it below, and we operate off a of spiritual um dynamic as well or spiritual component, we see it very clearly. So what I'm trying to say. In no uncertain terms, y'all. Remember that your words have power. And there's power in the names that you give your children. And you can't be running around here calling your kids Lucifer or um, names that just don't have any type of positivity to it. In my opinion, you can't be naming your uh, kids names that, that and if you want to produce the best out of your offspring. And some of y'all don't even care because nobody cared about bringing the best out of you. I get it. But I want the best for you and I want the best for your offspring. And the only way we can do that is start thinking about how we are looking at all of it, starting from the birth, from the rooter to the tooth. And we can't afford to be naming our children Lucifer and shit like that. That is just an abomination. And I just had to say that this morning, okay? Um, go out and make it a wonderful day. I hope y'all safe, family. Be blessed.